In this video, I'm going to be showing how to use the absolute value function. It's also known as ABS, and all it does is it changes a value from negative to positive, or positive to positive. It just always makes it positive. That's really it. Um, so what we have in this instance is the amount of minutes elapsed and the distance dropped in feet. This is as if we were skydiving or something of the sorts. Notice you can't fall 250 positive feet because that means you go up technically. So it's always going to be in a, it should be in a negative value. Well, let's say we don't want them in negative values. There's an easy way to do that. Now in your calculator, you type, uh, you type this or in these fancy little brackets, uh, negative 250, close the brackets, press enter, and it would become 250 like this. That's what it'll look like in your calculator. But in our big fancy calculator, it can do even more things. I'm going to type in the equal sign. We're going to type in A, B, S, and press the open parentheses. Another way to do it is A, B, S in all capitals, open parentheses. Another way is type in the A, and then a B, and then it'll automatically highlight. You can press the tab button. It'll do it for you. Or you can even click on it. Multiple different ways. doesn't matter. You get the same. Uh, ending that you would in any scenario. So now all we need to do is click on the value that we want to change in absolute value or make the absolute value of. Just going to click on C3 with our mouse, press enter, and there you go. Now it's 250. And now in an earlier video, I showed you the drag function. We're going to be using it here as well. All we're going to do is be taking this little square in the bottom right hand corner, press it, hold it down drag it all the way down, and we have absolute values for every single function. All this does is it says, hey, you referenced there, and you then moved down one cell from E3 to E4. So what I'm going to do in my referencing is move down from C3 to C4, the same amount of spaces. That's all it's doing. So let's delete this real quick, all of it. And let's do equals A, B, S, Notice how it just says number here as if there's one. In Microsoft uh, Office, as of right now, my understanding, you can click and drag all these functions, press enter, and it'll still give you all of the answers. Notice there's this little blue box around it. We'll get in that to a later video that's called a spill, but don't worry about that. All that you gotta know is there's another way to do it is you can highlight the range or C3 to C15. You can also type that in. Let's say, let's type in C3 colon C15. And you'll see it'll automatically grab those, press enter. And notice, even if you change this, let's change this to 3500. It'll automatically change the appropriate value. And we forgot to make this negative, negative 3500. There you go. That's how you use the absolute value function. It's extremely valuable for you to use uh, in certain scenarios. And hope you have a good day.